field performance today, we're going to continue to install the joists for our ICF mountain home build. Uh, we have one quarter of it done so far, and we are filling in the gaps for the other three quarters as the weather permits. So we are fighting the weather here. It is January, and so you don't know what you're going to get. It could be 65 degrees, or it could be freezing rain. Uh, before we get started, I would like to give a shout out to Skillshare, who is sponsoring this video. For those of you guys that have been following along on our journey, you guys know that Skillshare is how I got started in my art business. I currently do pet portraits and landscape art. Uh, I do them in pa uh, pastel and I am learning how to do it in oil. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting your life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. Many people ask me what, which classes and which teachers I learned from on Skillshare, and the answer is all of them. I have taken every single art class that they offer on Skillshare, from drawing to anatomy to colors and values. I've taken every single course that they offer on online marketing. This is how I helped to build my website. This is how I went to market with my business. If you guys are interested in learning a new skill or perhaps starting a new business, make 2020 a year where you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. What you find just might surprise and inspire you. If you guys are checking out Skillshare, click on the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. All right, so for most of this build so far, I've been down working on my art commissions, but the, the uh, Christmas season is over. And so I'm up here today helping Jeremy put up some joists. He's been sort of training me all morning on how to cut, saw, measure, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you guys have been following along the channel, you know that I'm freaking scared to death of saws. Like I have this picture in my head of saw blades flying off and cutting off heads and arms and limbs and all that kind of stuff so I have like a real legit fear of all kinds of saws so I've been practicing all morning we're gonna see if I can cut this joist myself crown it cut it and get it into place it's pretty darn good to me yeah I don't really see a crown in it but it is bent yeah it's bowed, bowed. but blocking will fix that all right all right <clears throat> this board down I think I've only cut one board correct so far today. Most of the time I keep lifting up the saw. We'll see if I can get this one right. right. Plus my thumbs are too short. <laughs> it's a weird saw. Too bad. Looks good to me. One seventy six and three oh, three quarters. Those. 
All right, pressure's on. This is a uh, $40 board. If I get this right, it'll be the first one. Luckily, all my other mistakes were on the other side of the board, waist side. Okay. Thumb. Voila. These boards are too heavy. I can't lift them myself. Guns and saws. I would not say that I'm over my fear of nail guns, saws, or ladders <laughs> at well, all. I'm, we're being more productive now. Here, give me that. Double. Or bendy walk boards. Bendy walk boards. Say 14, 8, and 3 quarters. 176 and 3 quarters? Yeah. Nice and repeat. 176 and 3 quarters. That's the same as this one. <sighs> this is a beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees. It's January like 11th. It's crazy. We got this whole half done. Now, we have one quarter left and a stairwell opening. I'm not sure when we'll get back up here, hopefully a couple days, but as much as we got done today, we should be able to finish this in one more day. And then we're gonna do mid-span blocking between all the joists, so good day. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of wet and messy, and we're trying to finish this up real quick. And I gotta say, I'm super proud of Jamie for she's picked up how to measure and cut boards and use a nail gun, and it has doubled our productivity over the last couple of days. So that's been great. She's been down here cutting all the boards, crowning the boards, and then we get them up and get them in. And we are about 
one, two, three, four, five joists away from finishing the rough framing of the floor. And then we're going to put in mid span blocking. That's what we're doing now. Aww, you shout out to your wife. You shout out. I have a t shirt, I love my wife. Don't you all agree? You should get a t shirt that says, I love my wife. Oh. Okay, cheese ball. A few people mentioned uh, in the last video, get a palm nailer. So I picked one up from Amazon. Thing works great, man. Sure beats swinging a hammer. up our joist video everything is about as plumb as can be and uh, next video is going to be on the mid span blocking and we're probably going to get started on that today since we have a couple hours left of daylight and so far it's not raining so we will catch you in the next video thanks for hanging with us hey guys jamie from gilbert farm today we're going to get here and finish up the joists where um i already said that we need to finish up these joists so we can put the mid span bracing thingies between the boards. No, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> what are they called? Mid span Mid -span blocking. Mid span blocking. Hey guys, Jamie from Gilbert Farm. Shut up, ah, dude. Hey guys, Jamie from Gilbert Farm. We're back here up on the hill where we need to finish up these joists so we can get to the mid span Block. something or another blocking thingies that we need to... <laughs> I need like a cue card. There's gonna be a good outtake roll. Uh, get to the mid-span blocking between the joists, the little block things. Hey guys.